Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Queenie from SICC, which stands for Sichuan International Communication Center. So, guess today I will be your guide to this mysterious place in Chengdu, the capital city of China's southwest Sichuan province. Okay, listen. So the place we're going to visit today is right behind me. You might think, is it like a pyramid and mummy thing? Or is it like we're going to visit a coffin of vampire? No, it's actually an ancient tomb of a king in Sichuan. Graveyards are pretty common in American cities. In China, it's sometimes taboo to live in a place where tombs are clustered. But this one, a massive grimoire with history of a thousand years in Yongming, Chengdu, is actually a meaningful place to visit. The Yongming Mausoleum, commonly known as the Tomb of Wang Jin, is a burial place of Wang Jin, the founding emperor of former Shu state. So how is Shu culture? And what does the grand tomb of its ruler look like? Let's dig inside. According to historical records, during the five dynasties and ten states, China was thrown into chaos because of incessant wars. As Wang Jian promoted in Sichuan a policy of imposing light corvette and taxes, ensuring the security for people, the state enjoyed many years of stability. However, years have passed, only a 50 meter high rounded mound of his was left. In fact, the Yongli Mausoleum has been closed for a while, and today it's the first day it will be reopened. Sounds like a secret dark dungeon that comes to light? Yes, kind of. Wonder why it's closed? We'll find it out. We've 顾名思义呢唐五代时期完整的宫廷乐队全部是由女子的坐步祭组成总共使用了二十种二十三件的乐器。Beyond that, there were many other cultural relics on earth here. The more you know about the past, the better prepared you are for the future. There's more to know about Sichuan culture and history. If you want to know more about Sichuan and stories, please follow us. And subscribe to our video channel. If you like our video, please don't forget to give your likes.